while since I made a video and this video is a sensitive topic for me. Um, uh, this is a video where I am coming out and I also have a confession to make too so okay I'm not sure how to do this I haven't really watched any coming out videos officially well I've only watched a couple and they always had someone there that they were coming out to well this is my um, way of coming out this is where I feel safe to come out to everyone okay so I've let hints out on my social media that I wasn't straight and I don't think people really grasp it because I kind of technically came out on um, my model page as pansexual and a lot of followers were gone after that I'm just like I guess I haven't officially said it so I think I'm just gonna officially say it I am not straight I am bisexual I identify as bisexual and mostly pansexual um, because it's still not identified as a legit thing yet so a lot of places I still have to say I'm bisexual um, pansexual has nothing to do with pans it's basically saying that you're attracted to people regardless of, of their gender however they identify and bisexual means you're attracted to either male or both male and female and I identify as both um, whoever is needed and um, I'm mostly attracted to women uh, and an androgynous men um, it, it's always been like that I never growing up not really understanding I would never understood why I was more attracted to women but that's just how it's been um, I've never officially dated a woman I would like to um, I wasn't totally comfortable and open with it until like maybe a few years ago actually I didn't I, didn't, I just couldn't find anybody really to be honest and I hadn't been looking so um, no, it doesn't mean that I'm attracted to every woman because that's ridiculous. That's like being straight, a straight woman and saying you're attracted to every man. And that sort of thing is getting uncomfortable for some people, especially if family is watching this um, or friends. Um, that doesn't mean I'm attracted to you and if it's family, that means it's incest and I'm not into that. That's disgusting to me. So there are some women I don't like to be around. There are some women I just admire and I have no attraction to them. And there are women that I, I am absolutely attracted to, like I would date. So, here's my confession. Hope you're ready for this. My confession is, okay, this is gonna make me nervous because she's probably looking at this right now. Or she's possibly watching it or will watch it, I don't know. Um, she follows me on something, I'm not gonna say. I, I don't wanna put her on the spot too much if she is watching this. But I just wanted to um, go ahead and say it. Okay, so I unofficially met her online. And um, this is someone I'm attracted to. I have a huge crush on her. Um, I unofficially met her online last year sometime. And we didn't go anywhere with that. Um, I, I don't know. I guess communication was kind of like here and there. Um, then I, I met her randomly at a goth club. I didn't know she was going to be there. We just happened to be there the same night. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> and I was definitely drunk. So uh, that's not why I was attracted to her. But I was more confident then. So I approached her and she didn't reject me or get freaked out. So I'm like, okay, cool. I, I danced with her and um, I've been attracted to her like I had a crush on her on and off since then um, I, I found her on social media later um, and I just kind of followed her and I got to see how she was and she has like a YouTube and she's also like intuitive and she's also a mom too and I just thought she was 
an amazing person, honestly. I thought she was like, she's gorgeous, she has a gorgeous voice, she's amazing. Um, she's really kind of hard to really, I could just tell, I could sense it because I'm, I'm an empath, psychic, tarot, tarot reader, and I could just sense it. She's just an amazingly warm hearted person and I, I just, I was instantly attracted to that about her and yeah, so she's a black woman. She's not gothic, but she pulls off the gothic look very well. I will say that because that, that made me, that made me like super more attracted to her. So, um, I don't know if she's single or not, so I'm not going to. I don't know. I, I've been too scared to like directly tell her a few times, and I wanted to. And she's probably gonna be really shocked that I am attracted to her. She's, yeah, she's definitely gonna be shocked. She's gonna be like, probably like, oh my god, <laughs> or she probably sensed it. Who knows? But um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, if if she's watching this and figures figures out who she is, she's a Virgo, so that might be a hint. If you know who you are, um. Hi, I have a crush on you. I had a crush on you for a while. <laughs> um, well, thanks for watching Silkies. Um, this this was hard for me. It was, it was uh, the confession and just saying this out, knowing that everyone is gonna be watching this. Um, I have over 2,000 subs, same other people who just watch what I do. Um, some friends, some family, some en enemies, whatever. So I'm not ashamed. Um, so like RuPaul said, what people think of me is none of my business. All right. Thanks for watching Silky.